Just before we leave today, we're going to give another short message from the Bible. Another short, short message from God's Word about how you can be in heaven and how you can know your sins forgiven. Forgiven for all of eternity. Every sin you've committed against God, laid on the Lord Jesus Christ as you read of in the, in the Bible. If you don't have your own Bible, we brought Bibles for you. If you would like to come to the Gospel meeting tomorrow, the Gospel is going to be preached at the Highfield Gospel Hall at 7 p.m. And if you would like to come, you have an invitation. And I'm just going to read one verse from the Bible. In Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9, the verse says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Friend, that is God's description of every single man and woman in this world today. We have a heart and a nature that is desperately wicked and against God. And with that heart, with that nature, and with a character that is opposed to God, that is against God, there comes a need for a change. A change needs to take place in your life if you're ever to enter heaven. You cannot enter into heaven with the heart that you have. A heart that has been ruined by sin. If you're ever to enter God's heaven, it can only be through the blood of Christ that we know was shed long ago. And friend, if you never put your faith in Him, you will go on following that same wicked heart, living and seeking those same things, friends, that are taking you down to hell. You're living in those things that are against your soul. And you're serving the God of this earth that wants nothing else but to see your soul perish. And friend, the devil himself seeks to keep men and women blinded in their sin. The Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to do the exact opposite, but to bring light to this world so that people could see their need of salvation, so that they could understand that there is forgiveness in the blood of Christ. And friend, the Lord Jesus Christ came and he did something. He did something in the open. The Bible says it wasn't done in a corner. It wasn't done in private. But the Lord Jesus Christ went to a cross. He did He did something extremely public when he went to the cross and when he shed his precious blood for guilty sinners like you and me, friend. Guilty sinners that are deserving nothing more than the judgment of God, but friend that are receiving at this moment nothing more but the mercy of God, the, the patience of God, calling every worm, every person to repent of their sins, the greatest display of the kindness of God in sending His Son into the world to save sinners. But friend, there will be a time when God's judgment will be revealed against sin. And friend, if you are still the inhabitant of that wicked heart, if you are still in your sins, then God will have no choice but to exact His judgment upon you. But friend, simply from the Bible, it is not necessary based on the fact that Christ has borne your sin. Christ has borne the sin of the ungodly. And you can take that for yourself, friend. Through faith, you can come into the good of God's salvation. Through putting your faith in the one that died and was buried and rose again. Just like this book said it would happen. You're not taking a leap in the dark. You're putting your faith in someone that deserves to be trusted. And if you put your faith in him, to quote the words from the Bible, you'll never be ashamed. 
You'll never be disappointed with Christ. He will satisfy the thirsty soul, the Bible says. If you come to him in faith, you will find God's full and free salvation that is taken up in the person of Christ. Again, if you don't have a Bible and you'd like a Bible for yourself, come and take a Bible. And we give everyone an invitation to hear the gospel preached tomorrow at the High Hill Gospel Hall at 7 o'clock. We thank you very much for listening and may the Lord bless what we've said to your soul.